five star rating is a pretty good reason to buy something online, right? Well, unfortunately, many reviews on Amazon and other marketplaces are actually fake. That's bad news for anyone who relies on these ratings. So what's being done against these fake reviews and how can you spot them? Without a doubt, four and five star reviews are clutch for any company wishing to offload their products. And fudging those ratings is a welcome tool to trick customers into making bad calls, like buying poor quality products. And the reality, dodgy and desperate sellers are paying for glowing reviews. And they'll even commission false negative reviews on competing products. Fake reviews are a huge market and a massive problem for platforms and customers. If you're planning to use TripAdvisor to book your next holiday, take note. The travel site says it identified and removed 1.3 million fake reviews in 2022. And watch out for the army of fakers when shopping online. Only last year, Amazon reported more than 23,000 social media groups worldwide dedicated to writing fake reviews, with over 46 million members and followers. The ratings are mostly written by individuals and not bots. Fake review brokers target potential writers via social media, and especially in Facebook groups. They pay them to write positive reviews after buying a product and returning it or they offer them outrageous bargains on products if they give them a good rating. Once they've created this network of writers, they offer review packages to online sellers on so-called review farms. To give you a rough idea, prices start from as little as two euros per review, but they do vary greatly. And if you order a pack of 100 positive reviews, you'll pay around 180 euros. This amount of top ratings can significantly improve a product's overall user score and make it more visible in online searches. This leads to market distortion and makes it extremely difficult for consumers to compare products online. And these writers are pretty good at their job too. It's fairly hard to spot the fake reviews. Most brokers ask their writers to browse organically by clicking on related products, marking other reviews as helpful, adding photos and videos to reviews, and writing reviews of 300 words or more. And what's worse, legally, review farms are acting in a grey zone. In most countries, there is no framework that makes the buying, selling and placing of fake reviews subject to criminal enforcement. Amazon, the world's biggest online retailer, claims it is doubling down on its efforts to tackle the problem. In order to do this, they say they have improved their AI tools. Amazon's detective AI does what it does best. It analyzes the data and then offers conclusions. The AI will look at the review writer's relationship with other accounts, their sign-in activity, review history, and any unusual behavior. Thanks to the detective AI, Amazon says it was able to block over 200 million suspected fake reviews last year. Still, consumer organizations argue online retailers are not doing enough. The overwhelming majority of these fakes are either five-star or one-star reviews. So you're more likely to find legitimate reviews in the middle. No one is paying for two or three star reviews. Apart from that, these red flags may help you spot a fake review. Reviews are rather vague and not very detailed. Generic titles like great product or awesome. Competitors products are mentioned. Similar wording as well as spelling or grammar mistakes. And one star reviews that mention small flaws which really aren't that bad. Have you ever bought a dodgy product that had high ratings? Let us know in the comments and thanks for watching.